We're going to turn now to our GMA cover story. A first look at the new generation of smoke detectors that are designed to stop those annoying false alarms that may lead people to disconnect them. In nearly half of house fire, fire cases where smoke detectors didn't work, it was because the batteries were disconnected or missing. And ABC's Gio Benitez is here. And Gio, they hope that this can save some lives. Absolutely, Robin. This is a major, major change. You know, we've all been there. You're cooking and your smoke detector goes off. Next thing you know, you're waving that dish towel in the air trying to get it to stop. <laughs> Y'all know about that. Well, in some cases, you might even pop that battery out. But that's exactly what experts are worried about. So this morning, uh, we got a first look at the new technology aimed at keeping the battery in. We're all annoyed by those false alarms. Some of us even yank out the battery, not knowing that a deadly fire could be around the corner. The issue is so serious that the nation's largest product certification lab, UL, is working with manufacturers to test these new smart detectors. This is game changing and life changing. And life saving. Detectors will now be able to identify if smoke is coming from cooking or a real fire, dramatically reducing what is called nuisance tripping or false alarms. So now this alarm is going to be able to determine what kind of smoke is in your home. Exactly. Technology that might have helped Justina Page and her family. Justina says she removed her smoke detector batteries after several false alarms while cooking. Decided for my peace of mind, this is just a nuisance. Um, we're not going to have a fire because no one expects to have a fire. Let's uh, take this out. Our home is safe. But one night. I awoke to explosions. TVs popping. Justina lost one of her young sons, Amos, and she and the rest of the family suffered severe burns. To test the new smart alarms, UL just built this lab, GMA, right there with the first look. We're going to go ahead and place these under the top broiler. We put hamburgers in the oven to see which alarms go off around smoke from cooking. Above us, two older smoke detectors and two with the new technology. Let's fire it up. Sure enough, after about 10 minutes, the older detectors start beeping. And what would happen now if you were in your home and that would be going off? You have to get the pillow and do the thing and try to get it out. Or, unfortunately, disable the battery, the battery and that's no, no. But the new ones. There is no nuisance tripping. Still not going off even after 15 minutes, recognizing this is not a real fire. Now to show that this new technology works during an actual fire. It's lit. We have there it is. UL lights this foam on fire, simulating the materials in a sofa. Okay, here we go. Now it went off. <laughs> Two and a half minutes in, with flames now present, the new detectors go off. I mean, this is potentially life-saving. This is 100% life-saving. And you know what? You won't have to wait long for these new smoke detectors. We'll start seeing them on the market this spring. And because UL has updated its standards, they say that all smoke detectors certified by UL, they must have this technology in place by 2020. And you know that mom that we met there? She's now a fire safety advocate, and oh, she's helping right. saving lives now. Yeah. And, and she really believes that this will help save lives. It will. It yeah. will. It makes cooking a lot easier, too. It's yeah, great. that's right. <laughs> <laughs> to, the, to the wave. To the wave. We've all done it. <laughs> We've all been there. All right, thank you so much, Gio. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.